Hey, yo, it's Danny, and today I want to talk to you about why I think that you, or you, should carry a knife as an EDC tool whenever you're out and about with your friends and your spouses and friends and family member. I said friends twice, yes, friends, frenemies, whomever you're with. This right here is the most universal utility tool you can have on persons hands down you can use it for self-defense against animals against people god forbid and you, know, you can use it to open things um mostly they have the paper variety but you know sharpen things i mean if you know any more, just put them down in the comments. I recently, very recently, as of last year, around June, decided that I'm going to carry a knife every single day. And I don't regret it. In fact, I've actually bought a multitude of knives since I've come to the realization that knives are pretty cool. They work. You can use them for a lot of things. I don't typically carry this boost knife, which is what this video is about, because it's automatic assist, which means it's unassisted close, and there's a lot of resistance when closing it, and I don't want to do too many finagling with the internals of this particular utility, so with that said, I would rather carry something like my Rift, um, mostly the Rift. That's about it. Other than that, I don't see why you wouldn't want to carry this. In this own defense, for me now, not for everyone, but for me, this knife is the most versatile in the sense that it comes with so many different configurations. You get it with the pry tip. You could get it with the non-serrated and then you can get it with the my favorite serrated because while the blade itself is pretty useful getting it serrated like this makes it even more useful in a sense you can saw through things that's normally tough you can give it a little bit of the heave hove get it done with that and in the boost defense that is a major advantage as far as other knives only disadvantage to that would be that when you have to sharpen it you might have to try to avoid this and the warranty the warranty or the lifetime lifetime sharpness guarantee uh, whatever they call that it doesn't apply to the serrated, serrated portion of the blade it doesn't apply to but no one really uses these in this in the defense of um, Benchmade and they can resharpen it you know until they can't get resharpened anymore if you wanted to you could probably sharpen it away if you really don't feel there's a need for the serrations um, but yeah that's the only disadvantage really for me when it comes to this particular knife but this one comes with all of the bells and the whistles which means it has the S30V steel the G10 body the lock where you can lock it when it's open so it don't come down and cut you and you can lock it when it's closed so that no one I mean, I could be faking it true, but can open it. So for those of you who feel like you need that extra protection, that safety, this provides that. It also comes with the deep pocket carry, right? Which is a must for me because, you know, laws. And then um, other things like the black coating on the, the blade, it's, it's attractive. I see, I, I don't know why, but I like that on my EDCs. I like that. I feel like it's very classy and it makes the blade stand out now my other boost my regular boost don't have this coating on it but my pride tip one does as do this one and as do my rift which is one of my favorite go-to knives whenever I'm on the streets just because of how like independent it is you know what I mean it's independent All right I don't gotta like to close it I can close it with one hand and I don't have to look like a weirdo trying to get this blade closed I mean 
that's worth its weight in gold. I ain't gonna lie to you. It really is. And you never, you don't know how much of Because to close this, you'd have to do like some type of kung fu moves or origami to try to rub it up against something so that you can close it. Um, are these a set? No, they're not. I just happened to acquire both of these from the same source, which is top secret. Maybe later on I'll let you know, or maybe better, later on I'll probably do a, what they call them things, giveaways. But it depends, my channel right now is meh. Not that inspiring to be honest with you, but it's fine, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. But yeah, you get the serrated edge on this particular blade, which is beautiful. You know, the full belly has that double, uh, what you call it, I don't know, but it's, it has the pivots on both sides, so it's good for really getting into something, and you get like that aerodynamic feel when you're when you're stabbing or darting. This one has it too, I guess, but not as fine as the Boost, right? And what else? Nice body, nice grip, ambidextrous clip. You can put it on both sides. You get the standard loophole. You get some of the Gimpin, right? Gimpin, Gimpin. I don't know but you get it right here at the back you kind of can get that with this safety thing so if you have to you can really dig down on that and get a lot of um, purchase on this particular blade I mean your fingers ain't really going anywhere it kind of locks into that it's really painful really painful but if you had to and you needed that extra coverage that extra um, purchase you get that with that um, like everything, all, all the metal, most of the metal that is, is coated with that black, so very little silver other than on the inside where there's a lot of um, movement as far as the blade opening. So you get like some silver on the inside right here. Yes, that silver is not black compared to the rest of the blade which is a solid matte-esque black. Rubber hard plastic all through the body no bowing or anything like that which is my preferred weapon to carry especially if you're gonna carry it every day I have some fleeks and um, what else is there Osborne you can um carry those but they also have the plastic the Osborne is the only exception because it has a rib on the back that's kind of metal so it kind of doesn't do it as much as something per se like a freak or um, What's the other ones they have out there? Or I don't know. Most of the bodies, most of the blades that I get are gonna have this G10 body, the Adamus, the Rift, this, the variations of this. Um, a lot of my hunting knives have that. Yeah, so, yeah, it's pretty big too. It's pretty girthy, about maybe half, maybe three quarters of an inch wide compared to something like the Rift. Um, a lot of these pieces are, are interchangeable, so I could take this off and put it on this and it'll work just just fine and what else pretty good blades pretty good blades i i recommend everyone have an edc blade because you really really can't go can't go wrong with with that i mean if you don't carry guns next to mace this is one of my go-to things like if i don't have my my um piece on me this is another one, it's like one of my go-to things. This is something I will carry with me regardless of how I feel. Every day I'll pick up a knife and I'll carry a knife with me just because of how practical it is. I've actually even shared them with family members who I believe should have them. With that said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. What?